On May the 8th, 1889, one year before his death, the troubled genius that was Vincent van Gogh committed himself to a psychiatric hospital in the south of France. Despite being very ill and physically exhausted, Vincent continued to produce a great number of paintings and drawings in his new surroundings. Paintings of his furnishings, his room, and the surrounding landscape with its cornfields, vineyards, and olive groves. He also completed a number of works based on historical work by other artists, and The Good Samaritan is one of these. The major influence on this work was a painting of the same subject by the great romantic painter Eugène Delacroix. The other influence was a fellow Dutchman, the great Rembrandt. In his formative years, Vincent wanted to paint like Rembrandt, but he couldn't, and ended up painting like Van Gogh, and we are all the richer for it. The story Jesus told from Luke's Gospel would have resonated with Vincent. Jesus tells of a journeyman who was robbed and beaten by thieves and left to die on the side of the road. Both a priest and a Levite see the severely injured man, but choose to cross the road and ignore him. But a Samaritan intervenes and saves the day. This is Jesus at his provocative best, knowing full well the deep historical animosity between Jews and Samaritans, Jesus makes the Samaritan the hero. And I'm sure there was much in the story which would have moved Van Gogh. He had known physical abuse, sometimes at his own hand, who can forget the ear cutting incident. He had experienced rejection from relationships, from the church, from fellow artists. The art world certainly wasn't ready for him. He would only ever sell one work in his lifetime, and that was to his beloved younger brother, Theo. Van Gogh's depiction of the scene is typical of his later style. The entire painting surface is a vortex of thickly applied impasto paint. He deftly and confidently applies colour in thick hatches and lattices. Colours placed side by side, yellows next to complementary indigos and purples, reds beside blue. There is so much movement in the work. A road fades into the distance and the priest and the Levite can be seen with their backs to the victim. An empty case or chest lies open, evidence of the theft. The Samaritan strains as he lifts the man onto his horse. The victim grasps the Samaritan's neck and shoulders, his face pained and contorted, an image of brokenness and vulnerability. Despite his illness and rejection, Van Gogh almost always summons up in me a sense of abiding hope and redemption. So much of his work is a joyous celebration of nature. The sunflowers, the brilliant sun, the starry nights, all painted with a heavily loaded brush. <laughs>